I've got to say, Spinelli is worth his weight in gold. Uh, you don't have to tell me that. Well, listen, he just put a trace on Deirdre's phone, so any minute now, I am going to find out exactly who she's meeting okay, with. But you said her, her business partner hired you, right? Yeah, Drake Black. Okay, why does he care about Deirdre's personal life? I don't no, no, I mean, I didn't do the interview. All I know is that he thinks that she's in over her head. That's it. He's jealous, I think. <gasps> you are never going to guess who she just got off the phone with. Who? Edward Quartermain. It is Edward's number, right? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's it. Okay, well, case closed. Wait, no, no, don't you have to take... Take pictures? Don't you need proof no, to show that Edward's I the guy? No, I don't forget the client. He is your grandfather. What? What's that matter? I don't know. I don't know, Jason. It just does. Wow, Edward, who would have thought? I mean, I, I hate to break it to you, but your grandfather is an incorrigible womanizer, and I don't think he's going to let a little thing like age cure him. Seriously, Edward? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awesome. I mean... Oh. I, I know, really. I think Edward should be an inspiration to all because at an age like that, if you're still willing to sneak around for a little loving, I don't know. I think it's a soul of a romantic. Sorry. All I'm saying is, if he's found someone that puts a little bounce to his step, I'm certainly not going to complicate things. I'm sure Edward would appreciate that. Yeah. Case closed. I'm going to go back to the office and relay this information to my client. Thank you for your assist. Wait. I was... I was just thinking now that, uh, you know, the case is closed, that maybe you might like to go to the carnival. Wow. This is a real carnival. I can't remember the last time I've been. This, the, I'm walking down a midway. Look at that. Oh, I had a feeling you'd like it. Actually, I love it. I do. Uh, I don't know. Thank you for knowing me better than I know myself. I see. Gracious greetings. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. You guys having fun? I could think of better things to do. But we're thrilled to see you two about to partake in some much-needed playtime, but I'm a little bit confused. Does this mean that the case of the mysteriously absent business partner has been solved? I decided to drop it. May I ask why? Um, no. Let's just say conflict of interest. Ah, well, uh, these things happen, but the important thing is that you are freed up to do something even more important. Um, spend a day in childlike wonder with the person you esteem the most. Have you guys seen Michael? Uh, yes, the young sir was spotted traveling the uh, the midway with the other well-traveled wayward youth. But uh, they seem to be enjoying themselves, so there's nothing to worry about. All is well, stone cold. No danger alert. <laughs> Wait a minute. I would... that bear. Can you wait for me? You... You mean with everything to do here, you won't you want me to shoot? Well, I mean, it'll be nice not having to scramble when someone shoots back. Mr. Morgan, <laughs> nice to see you stepping up for worthy cause, buddy. Coleman, what are you what are you doing here? I'm a charitable guy. <laughs> since when? Hey, since I've uh, taken more cash than anybody else. Oh, really? Well, how much of it's going back into the box office? Relax, Sam. That means my powers for good tonight. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to see about that. Ah, step up, Weiner. See what you got. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh no, no, no. I knew it. This is rigged. He doesn't miss like that. You want that bear? I want that bear. Okay, you're going to get that bear. Here, take it. Anyway. No, I couldn't believe it. I missed more shots in that stupid game than I have in my entire life. Well, I...
to call him and cheated, and then we served him right. If you would have just taken out your gun and shut down and the rest of the time. I was going to if you didn't stop me. I well. You ready? One, two, three, go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ready for the horse, Steve? Yeah, you got a good smile. I think I got it. You ready? You want to do it again? One more time? Go! Look this way! Jake!